Okay, question number 13 then. We have to simplify 12x to the power 12 divided by 3x to the power 3. Now, before I start this question, I want to ask you one thing. What do you think? This power 12, is it for, is it just for x or is it for x and it is for 12? Now, you should know if you think it is for 12 too, you are wrong. Why? Because if they had to show it for 12, they would have written it like this. Okay. Then it would have meant that, that this power 12 is for x and it is also for 2. Okay. But this is not the case here. Okay. This is not the case here. So what we have to do, there is no power with 12. There is no power with 3. So it will be 12 div divided by 3 is 4. And we have the same base here, x and x. And when the powers are being divided, we just subtract. It will be 12 minus 3, which will give us 9. So it will be 4x to the power 9. Okay? Then the next part. Now here, they have written inside the bracket everything. What I was trying to explain here. So this 1 over 8, it is for y and it is for 256 okay so let me do it first for 256 so 256 to the power 1 over 8 to the power 1 over 8 I will get 2 okay I will get 2 let me just write the final answer here and then I have to do the power for y then and how I will do this whenever the powers are written one outside the one 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 of them is outside the bracket we just multiply the powers okay so it will be 256 times 1 over 8 okay for y so it will be 256 times 1 over 8 which is 32 okay so it will be 2 y to the power 32. Now question number 14. Now let's have a look at question number 14. We have to solve the equation and we are given a quadratic equation. Now quadratic equation can be solved through factorization, completing the square or the formula. We cannot use the factorization. Why? Because the hint is this. Because when we solve through factorization, it is usually a whole number and it doesn't have any decimal places okay so it is not a factorization here i'm going to use the formula okay and if anybody is interested to know how do we use a completing the square method let me know in the comments okay so first of all let me write the formula minus b plus minus root b squared minus 4ac and everything over 2a. This is my formula, okay? Where my a is equals to 2, and then b is equals to 1, and then c is equals to minus 2, okay? Now I will just substitute, and it is a good idea to use the brackets whenever you are substituting. So it will be minus b, which is 1, plus or minus root b square, which is 1, minus. 4 times a which is 2 times c which is minus 2 and everything over 2 times a and a was my 2 okay now to get the 4 marks you already got 1 mark here okay there is one mark for your working this isn't this is this is not your working it's just substitution of the formula okay so we just want one more mark okay and then the rest two marks are here okay so it will be um, so it will be all you have to do to get the other mark just solve this part inside okay just solve this part inside and you will get your four marks so it will be minus one plus or minus root and when you solve this you will get 4 to the 8 8 to the 16 1 plus 16 is 17 and everything over 4 now from here onwards you can use your calculator directly okay and uh, which will be when we add we will have 0 0.780 
and we have to write our final answers to two decimal place so we will show to at least three decimal place in the first 0 0.780 and so on or x is equals to when we subtract you will get minus 1.280 and so on so at for two decimal places it will be 0 0.78 and minus 1.28 okay so this will be so this will be your first mark here your second mark your third mark and your fourth mark okay so make sure you get all the four, four marks okay